What is up YouTube, N64FunTime coming back at you today. So I haven't had too much time to play videos as you guys can, or make videos as you guys can tell. So I've been doing quite a few live streams. It helps me play just a few more video games and just kind of hang out instead of trying to edit and shoot videos. So I wanted to give you guys like a video style content and I came down here to my desk and I was thinking, what can I do real quick to make a really cool video? Um, and one of the things I know is starting to get really popular are mini computers, mini computers like uh, the Raspberry Raspberry Pi. Now I have a Raspberry Pi, I have a Raspberry Pi 3 Plus, I actually really enjoy it. I use it to use a, a cut down version of Linux um, and they're just really fun to play around with and like I said I know they're starting to get very popular. One of the things right out of the box that's a little bit frustrating for the Raspberry Pi is the simple fact that if you shut it down or uh, if you put it uh, like in like a standby mode or something like that, the only way to reset it or to turn the system back on after you've powered it down is to physically unplug the micro USB power plug and plug it back in. Now, I know they do make a micro USB now that actually has an old school light uh, switch sort of thing on it, so you can actually just kind of click that. Um, but I know for the most part, a lot of people just have to unplug the micro USB and plug it back in. Now, it's not too big of a deal. It doesn't, it's not like a, you know, a life wasting amount of time. But the problem is if you're plugging that micro USB in and out, you're putting wear and tear on that. Um, on the unit and you really don't need to you know if you're plugging that in and out a few times a day you're gonna wear it out it's potentially gonna break they're really sturdy hardy boards uh, and it's gonna take a long time but the fact is the more you use it the more it's gonna you know wear and tear and possibly break so a long time ago I was like why do they not have a power button or a reset button just normally on the on the system why doesn't it come with that um, but the fact of the matter is, is there actually is a way to put a reset button on it and it's actually very, very easy. Now, if you take out your, uh, your board here um, out of its case or whatever, there's actually a little spot with two holes so you can solder in a reset switch. And it's actually just along the top here, if you trace that down just above the RAM and behind this first USB, there's a little box here with two holes in it and it simply says run. Now, I'm kind of a nerd, so I have a crap ton of old computer parts. And what I simply did is I clipped out two little um, metal prongs that are just on top of here, similar to these. They're in every computer. There's a ton of them in every computer, whether you're plugging in USB or a fan and plugins for power anything there's there's so many of these inside of a computer and if you have one that's not working you can just clip a few off and what I did is I soldered them in there and then I took out a little plastic divider and stabilizer and put it in between there so if you can see there I'm gonna have more pictures kind of up in the corner to show you guys exactly what it is and see it close up but I just soldered that in there um, and I have two prongs, they're flush with this. It actually looks very nice. It actually looks like it was supposed to be there. And then what I did is I actually just took a reset switch out of a normal computer and it just has the end in it where you physically plug it into those pins. And all I did is I plugged it in there. It plugs in very simply just like that. I put uh, a little hole um, up on my reset switch and then it just sits just like that and when I want to reset it I just simply press the button boop and the whole system resets that way I'm not plugging my micro USB in and out I have a simple reset switch or power button very very simple thing to do very simple addition to your Raspberry Pi that I think makes it so much easier and it reduces the wear and tear on your Raspberry Pi so if you need more uh, description on exactly what to do, um, please message me. I'd be more than happy to talk you through it. But I'm just showing you that it is possible to have a reset button on your Raspberry Pi slash power button. Uh, and it's very, very simple to do. It just takes a few basic soldering skills. Uh, you just have two points of solder. And that's about it. And it makes it very easy. It makes it very convenient and reduces the wear and tear on your Raspberry Pi, like I said. So there you go. Uh, yeah, if you need more info, just let me know. Anyway, 
I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was a little bit of information from you. If you're getting into the Raspberry Pis or mini PCs, there's so many fun things that you could do with these things to make them a little uh, more customized to what you like. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, check out my fun facts that I do every Friday. Uh, I've been doing those, those are pretty fun, so check those out. I've been doing a ton of live streams because I really enjoy those a little bit more because I get to kind of just freely play video games, so check those, out, check those out as well. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below. It is always appreciated, and 64 fun time. Until next time, be nice, stay positive, always be gaming.